All crops show an impact of climate change. Some of the more sensitive ones, because they're growing in rain-fed environments without irrigation, uh, wheat uh, shows a great variation, maize, uh, soybeans, uh, ground nuts uh, in a lot of cases because of production. A lot of our perennial crops uh, show variation in production among years. Uh, and a lot of those are due to the temperature stresses and moisture stresses, but in some of the perennial crops, it's actually due to late frost uh, that occur that uh, prevent flowering uh, during the, uh, the reproductive stage. In Brazil, the discussions that are going on and saying, do we look at alternative rotations as one of the projects is working on soybeans and maize and, and brachiata as a, as a mixture of a cropping system to, to give greater resilience to climate rather than just growing all soybeans. Looking at adaptation of the coffee belt as it moves more northward into tropical areas because there's been a, a change in frost dates and so it's no longer profitable. So the interesting thing about agriculture is that there's not a magic tipping point in which ag is culture is going to change the climate because we've always been changing and so we see these patterns emerge over the last uh, 30, 40 years and we're going to can see those uh, continue to change. What producers want to know is what's our certainty <laughs> about what these growing regions are going to look like and I think that's going to be our major effort is to help them understand that in the near term it's weather variation and in the longer term, that 10, 15 year period, it's really about the changing climate. Where are those zones of production going to be? Mm -hmm.